With you by my side and mine by and me by yours, there's nothing we can't overcome or achieve. I promise to be the man I see now in your eyes, today, tomorrow, and forever. In your eyes, I have found my love. In your heart, I have found my home. In your soul, I have found my mate. With you, I am whole, full, alive. Cheers. Um, I would just like to take this moment to express my gratitude for Martin. <sighs> Thank you for choosing me every day since we met and making me feel so safe and seen me. That I was able to soften slowly into the woman that stands before you today as your wife and best friend. Thank you for gifting me with the journey of motherhood, knowing you are going to help me raise this little baby with so much love, exciting you in everything you want. You have impacted every aspect of my life for the better, and loving you every single sunrise to sunset is the joy of my existence. And isn't it the most spectacular setting for a marriage ceremony under the shade of these old oak trees? 
like ancient friends, lovingly supporting one another, entwined at the roots, and indeed so much wonder to behold in nature today. What a wonderful venue it has chosen. When love beckons to you, follow him. Those ways are hard and steep. For even as love crowns you, so shall he crucify you. Even as he is for your growth, so he is for your pruning. And think not, you can direct the course of love. For love, if it finds you worthy, directs your course. Love has no other desire but to fulfill itself. But if you love and must needs have desires, then let these be your desires to melt and be like a running brook that sings its melody to the night, to know the pain of too much tenderness, to be wounded by your own understanding of love and to bleed willingly and joyfully, to wake at dawn with a winged heart and give thanks for another day of loving, to rest at the noon hour and meditate love's ecstasy, to return home at eventide with gratitude and then to sleep with the prayer for the beloved in your heart and a song of praise upon your lips. Isn't this a beautiful poem? I take you, Martin, to be my husband, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and respect you, laugh with you and cry with you, loving you faithfully through good times and bad. For richer or for poorer, through sickness and in health, regardless of the obstacles we may face together. <laughs> Above all, I pledge always to see you, my darling, my confidant, my beloved. I take you, Rebecca, to be my wife, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I, tr I will trust you and respect you, laugh with you and cry with you, loving you faithfully through good times and bad, for richer, for poorer, through sickness and in health, regardless of the obstacles we may face together. Above all, I pledge to see you, my darling, my confidant, my beloved. Additionally, I promise to make my life forever yours and build my dreams with you and around you. I promise to let you win at some things every now and again. <laughs> I promise to share my food with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> I promise to accept you when you are right and to accept that you are right even if you might not be. I, I promise to not only listen but to hear, not only to be honest but to trust, and not only to love but to be loved. I promise to be the man that I see now in your eyes today, tomorrow and forever. I'm also reminded of the movie Avatar, which you may remember, with the Navi, the natives of Pandora, who instead of saying I love you, would say I see you. In South Africa Zulu language, we have sa ubona, I see you. In Guni languages, we have Ubuntu, in Muntun, Gumuntun, Gabantu, I am you, we are one, we see each other. You are, your wellness is my wellness. So we awaken today hearing and inspired by this couple's wedding vows to all see one another. So we all be healed by the nature of being truly seen, to love and feast on togetherness, on peace as well as plants, as one soulful, sentient tribe, beneath a tree of life, to water the mighty tree of divine feminine, Nokopila flowing river in this garden of vegan, on this day, a Friday the 13th, on this day, which now has come. And may you all three be triply blessed, including little Rhea, or in fact little Johnny, please forgive me. The <laughs> goddess will no doubt reveal all in due course. <laughs> and now we approach the rings, the most important 
Hein. Rebecca, do you enter into this union of your own free will, vowing to take your beloved Martin as your one true love and husband in all that life brings to your journey and from this day forward? I do. And Martin, do you enter this union of your own free will, vowing to take your beloved Rebecca as your one true love and wife in all that life brings to your journey and from this day forward? I do. <laughs> Please place the ring. Ah, now, does anyone in this, everyone in this group unconditionally support and bless this union? Please say, I do. I do. Rebecca and Martin, you have promised your hearts and pledged your commitment to one another through sacred vows taken on this day, the Friday the 13th, 2023, by the powers of the divine Goddess Venus and Tara in the trees of life, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And you may now seal today's promises and sacred union. Martin, you make us your bride. <laughs> Rebecca, I always thought you were beautiful, but today, wow, you hashtag beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then words of wisdom. Um, gratitude is a bridge to happiness. That gratitude for the little things. Um, that we can be here, uh, that the sun is shining, that uh, the oxygen to the air is clean. And I think that's important is to, 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 to be grateful because... You become present when you're grateful. And the bridge to happiness is gratitude. Wishing you much love, light, and abundance into your future. And um, skol, lachaim, gesundheit, and cheers. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And I found a word to describe you. And the word is superfluous. <laughs> And it means to be made of the highest quality and standard supreme. And Martin, that is the way that I view you. You're a superfluous human being. I view you in the highest regard. And it's an absolute pleasure. And one of the biggest honors of my entire life is to call you my friend. I love you guys to the ends of the earth. And I hope that your life is amazing together. Thank you.
But I will say that Rebecca, you are the most beautiful person I know inside and out. You are the strongest and the most compassionate woman I've ever known. You've shown me what true loyal friendship can be. You've stood up for me and you've stood by my side. And I can promise you that until my dying day, that I will do the same. You've inspired me to follow my dreams and to stand up for myself. But even more than that, you've inspired me to become a better person. I love you, Rebecca, and you are an absolute masterpiece. Do not forget that. I look forward to everything in the future. I look forward to all the more magical moments, more gatherings like this, the more connections, the more experiences shared. And Bex, you are our love. I mean, everything you do, everything is passion of pure love. And I see that, I always do. And I love you so much. And I love you too, Martin. <laughs> Bro, I got you. I got you. Next thing I know, Rebecca knocked him over like a truck. He woke up in vegan hospital already converted. <laughs> It is really the union and the setting for a perfect couple. And I can't wait to see you become parents. And you really just radiate love. And the love that radiates between the two of you is just going to transcend to the little baby that's in your tummy. <laughs> I can't wait to see you be parents. I'm so proud of both of you. And my heart just radiates with love when I think of both of you together. And now, finally, it gives me immense pleasure to ask you to please stand to raise a toast. <laughs> so, to Martin and Rebecca, the new married couple, we wish you nothing but the best. Cheers. Thank you, Lord.